Franco de Gregorio, Principal Bassoon with Symphony of the Americas in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and this is a bassoon. It is the base of the woodwind family. It's the lowest instrument in the woodwind family. We sit beside the clarinets in the orchestra. There's usually two bassoons in, the, in an orchestra. Sometimes there's three or four, depending on the piece that is being played in the concert. Um, it is a double reed instrument. What that means is the part that you blow into is a reed, it's called a reed, but it's a double reed. There's two blades that vibrate together. Also, the oboe is a double reed instrument also, so they are related that way. I have my case right here. I'm going to lay it in as I take it apart. This is called the vocal. And this is called the bell joint, or the, um, yes, the bell. This is, this part here is called the long joint, or bass joint, because it plays, helps to play the low notes. And this is called the tenor or wing joint, because it has a little flap on the side that looks like a wing, I guess. Um, and this is the boot joint, or the bottom of the instrument. Now, if you take this cap off, you'll see that there's a tube right here that directs the air from the top of the instrument down through and back out. Um, so if you were to stretch the bassoon out the entire way, it would be about eight feet long. So let me put this back together. All woodwind instruments come apart in pieces so you can transport them you know, safely without them breaking. And the vocal. And this part here is called the seat strap. This is what supports the instrument. Probably when you look at the bassoon, if you look at it, it doesn't look like it has that many keys on it until you turn around and look in the back and you see quite a number of keys for your thumb. So this is usually what people, they see this bassoon and think, wow, that must be really hard, all of those keys. It can be hard because there's a lot of keys, but that's not, not always the hardest. What actually is difficult is playing the bassoon in tune. Also the oboe, because with the double reed, the pitch can, you gotta be very focused with your embouchure. That's the way you hold your lips and your mouth on it, on the mouthpiece or the reed. So I'll just take one note and show you how I can make it sharp or flat, high or low. And that's me holding down just the same amount of fingers. So you gotta really hear where the note is when you play it and know to be able to focus it in tune. That's probably one of the hardest things about the bassoon. Um, the bassoon is known sometimes as the clown of the orchestra because of the shortness of the low notes and it might sound kind of comical. Maybe you've heard this before. Sorcerer's Apprentice, you, if you've ever seen Fantasia, the movie uh, that has Mickey Mouse, a scene with Mickey Mouse and all the water and the moths, um, that is an excerpt that's played in that movie. Bassoons get a lot of the low notes or the accompaniment figures in a lot of pieces. <laughs> Things like that. But sometimes we get the melody too. <laughs> The bassoon I play on, the brand is called Fox, and Fox is an American company. I bought this instrument about 35 years ago, brand new, for about $7,000, and now it's valued at about $35,000. Instruments, uh, professional instruments go up in value. String instruments are even a lot more than that, very good string instruments. But one of the best, probably the best if you ask a bassoon player, the best brand of bassoons is our Heckel bassoons. They're made in Germany. And if you want to buy a brand new Heckel bassoon, you are on a waiting list for eight years, and the instrument cost will cost you about $70,000. So they're pretty expensive, and um, the great instruments you can buy, your best bet is to buy a used one if you're going to buy uh, a new bassoon. I hope you learned a lot about the bassoon today. If you'd like to see more information on the bassoon, you can find a lot of videos on the web. Uh, one in particular that I'd like to end with is a piece by Tchaikovsky, one of my favorite composers. He wrote many good, uh, some very good solos for the bassoon in the orchestra. And this is from his fourth symphony, the second movement. And this is the KBS symphony under the direction of Joel Levy. So enjoy, and I hope you learned a lot about the bassoon today.